Way to Heroes. Do you like Dungeons & Dragons lore? Do you like drunk history? Well then, Lore and Poor is the show for you, where we combine the two. I'm Adam DeWeese, and I'm the host, and I bring on a cast of rotating guests, and we hang out before the show, have a few drinks, and then they are given their topic 30 minutes prior to pressing the record button where they study up on the topic, and then... city that brought you Kentucky Fried Chicken comes Roll for Weird, a Monster of the Week actual play podcast. Join Philbert Fogel, Doomsday Prepper, and Expert. I mean, I'm kind of like the linchpin that's keeping everything together. Laysath, the Divine. And I still owe him my life, so I would have to end yours. Hello, and welcome to season two, made it to two, of Nerd Asylum by Night, uh, the Nerd Asylum's Extra Life for Riley Children's Hospital charity stream, where we're playing an actual play, Vampire the Masquerade 5th Edition Chronicle. Your donations to the link below the stream affect the game in real time, including things like uh, compounding hunger, summoning allies or enemies, uh, giving players dice to the dice pools and such like that. Um, and everything goes towards our goal, which has now gone up. Uh, we are starting season two after what had happened last time, which is a lot of stuff happened in season one. A lot of stuff. Uh, everything is on YouTube if you are interested or need to catch up. To make things short, though, <laughs> our coterie was put together by the Camarilla because they... Uh, were a part of and witness to a masquerade breach that was not taken care of fully. They had to find the ghoul kidnapper who turned out to be a ghoul killer who then uh, managed to get a hold of Stasia. What? 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 (laughs) Who managed to get a hold of Stasia. Stasia was drained and then promptly embraced in order to be saved by Basil. Um, There's a lot more to the story than that. A lot of NPCs, a lot of stuff happening, but go check it out on YouTube. 
before we start tonight, since it's season two, let's just go around real quick and give everyone give your names and who who you're playing and what your clan is. Uh, starting with you know, start with Basil. Well, hi. I am Basil Parker Wells, and I'm Clan Bruja. And that's my baby. Oh, God. Anyway, <laughs> that way. Yeah. Uh, cat? <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I don't know which is that way. I don't know either. Yes, uh, right. No, you're yeah, you're right, right. You're right. Yep. Uh, Kaz, yeah. not Kaz, Cat. Uh, I'm Basil's, I'm Basil's baby. He's he's my vampire daddy. Um, mm. I was human and now I'm not anymore. It's fine. I'm living my best life, as you can see. I'm also Clan Bruja. Bruja. <laughs> <laughs> uh, DB. Yes, Hello. you. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, hi, I'm Dragon Bait. Uh, I'm playing Lindsay. Her name keeps changing in the intro videos. It's real fun. <laughs> it wasn't the last um, name last time. It's fine. We'll figure it out okay. eventually. <laughs> <laughs> she is uh, our mute Toyador. Yeah, mute ish. Yeah. And a vocal issue. Lastly, Joe. Hello, I am Dr. Lucian Visago. I am uh, oh. <laughs> Clan Ventru, and uh, yeah, yeah, could call me a drama king. Um, that's the way to put it. Uh, <laughs> so asshole, maybe <laughs> sasshole, sasshole, All the sasshole, sasshole. All the things. So, with that, let's return to our vampire story. Summer has arrived in Hiligdom. The days are hot, with bright blue skies that shine over families hiking across Pine Top Mountain and tourists frolicking in the waves on the beach near the boardwalk. The nights are humid, punctuated by sea breezes from the coast that sweep past the glittering lights of the skyline. Two weeks have passed since the incident at Hiligdom Hill Sanatorium. Kindred, the four of you, Awake from your day's sleep, rouse yourselves, and come downstairs to find the shop's mail placed neatly on the counter by Lucien and Stasia's new daytime employee. Among the envelopes of junk mail, you find one that has been sealed with wax, with all four of your names written across the front in looping calligraphy. Who is the first to get up and come downstairs? Lindsay? Basil's really? probably... Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'll be want the first to early, but I just want to stand over Lucian. <laughs> <laughs> like paranormal activity style? Sure. Wait. What are we talking about? <laughs> yes. Okay. Just gonna stand there until he wakes up. I'm gonna be like right there. So when he wakes up, harass like, that man. <laughs> I just like, hey. It could have been that easy to kill you. I I think that's one of the reasons that Lindsay is always up because she doesn't want to hear the screaming from Lucian. <laughs> so yeah, I'll go, I'll go downstairs. So yeah, you see the mail piled up on the counter there. Um, since we're all getting up on a... Uh, what was that? That was a subscription. Oh. Thank Neat. you for your uh, seven months and congratulations on your nerd anniversary. Nice. Hey, I can't read the it name because it was for red cat. Uh, this is Betty the Priest. Why Betty you... the Priest. Ooh, we better watch Thank out. Um, everyone, give me rouse checks. Oh fuck! Just for the new night. Um, I may or may not have forgotten how to do a rouse check. Just One roll a black die. Yeah, roll a black die. I'm uh, great at these. <laughs> <laughs> That's a uh, that's a blank for me. Okay, so Lucian's at two. Basil, what'd you get? Uh, I got a blank. Basil was at two, starting off great. <laughs> Lindsay, I got an onk, so I okay. succeeded. Lindsay's got onk. one, and Stasia, one. All right. 
So yeah, flipping through the mail, Lindsay, you find that beautiful envelope, loop and calligraphy, very similar to the last time that you were invited to Elysium. This one isn't opened by my husband. It's kind of weird. No mail fraud here. I'll open it. It has my name on it. I can do that. Yeah, it's got everyone's name on it. (laughs) Uh, Inside is a beautifully written invitation to Elysium, specifying each of you by name. The event is tonight. In just a few hours at an address that Lindsay, you don't recognize, but it says that it's the address of the old state house, which is just on the um, downtown side of Heligdom. Perfect. Uh, what else is in the pile of mail? Junk mail. Okay. Yeah, uh, you've been approved for a credit card. Ah, yes. <laughs> um, nothing really of note. Okay, I'm going to, like, sit down at the table and look through my phone. Which one? Both. Um, don't really see much of note. Okay. Looks like business as usual. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, I'm going to text Dave real quick. Dave! Okay. I'm just like, hey, how's it going? Um, there's a little while before you get a response. It's a little typo heavy. This is doing good. How about you? No, sweet boy. <laughs> uh, going to Elysium tonight. Probably gonna die. I I I bequeath everything to you. <laughs> <laughs> and I called myself the drama king. Whew. Maybe I. Uh. The uh, response says, "Ha ha ha." Good thing the haunt is still mine. For now. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, don't die. <laughs> nah. How about the rest of you guys? Who's who's? Is there screaming when Lucian wakes up to, to uh, Stasia, or is Lucian just used to this by now? Uh, Lucian is startled, but uh, doesn't make a peep. Rolls his eyes. Is used to this by now. <laughs> I'm waking up a little bit hangry too, so it doesn't really help. Yeah. If you're going to kill me, then kill me. Stop pantomiming. (laughs) What are you, Lindsay? (laughs) (laughs) Don't want to kill you. I just want you to fear me. (laughs) Why is that funny? Would it make you feel better? If you stop laughing, yes. God, you're so boring. Roses to the bottom. <laughs> All right, so I'm guessing eventually everyone comes downstairs for the night. Yes. Good evening, Morning. everyone. Whatever. Good evening. Lindsay, you get like a birthday card or something? Uh, no. Uh, I, I'll d- drop the letter on the table. Summons to Elysium. Uh, wait, just you, right? <laughs> well, this will be fun. Lucy, and you recognize that address, and you know the old state house very well. And it was really yeah. just a matter of time. Yep. Taco Bell before we leave. Can't have Taco Bell. That's what I said, we can't. Oh, I'm sorry, I only heard Taco Bell before we leave. I mean, we can still go to, like, smell it. It smells awful. It smells delicious. Give it a bit. Yeah. <sighs> mm. We're not taking the hearse, though. I figured Basil would drive. Yeah. Forty car. I'd never miss an opportunity to see them two in the back. No. <laughs> 
Lucian with his knees up to his chest, basically. I mean, Stasia, too. She's not short. I can, I can delicately put my legs sideways. Do I need to kick Lindsay back into the back seat? Since we're, like, Romigos now? Lindsay, you've been replaced! <laughs> we pop and everything. Oh. I did love pop. <laughs> so. What is everyone gonna wear? Well, you'll see that Lucian is uh, dressed in his normal garb, except for he's not wearing his blazer, and uh, he has acquired a pair of sunglasses very similar to uh, the sunglasses that Victor were wear was wearing. I'm sure so he your loves date that. Went well. <gasps> Did you like get those after some fun? No, he did not. I haven't actually seen Victor since then. Good. Doesn't mean I don't want to. She takes the cup and just throws it against <laughs> the wall. <laughs> the fuck? We're done with the conversation now. I have to sit down and have some tea about this, Lucian. No, we don't! <laughs> well, if you like to sit there with a teacup in front of you, I... I mm. I'm going to feed the teacup to either of you. Can we move on the conversation? What are we doing tonight? Well, Go apparently our plans museum. have been made for us. Do a little dancing, do a little drinking. Oh, oh. Um. oh. <laughs> baby. <sighs> I'm just saying, but what if we didn't? What if we just like casually showed up late? They're gonna kill us anyways. Hmm. Chances are slim. For some of us. Yeah, for some of us. <laughs> We'll go get this over with and then fucking leave. Oh, Nicholas is gonna be there. Well, so that's what Lucian's wearing. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Start that whole conversation. <laughs> uh, Lindsay's wearing a off the shoulder red dress with her normal choker rose necklace and a dangly bat earring nice yeah. dangly bat. it's freaking bats freaking bats Stasia comes downstairs in in a similarly like dark red dress with the black corset and the leather jacket and then looks at lucian and just one of us is gonna have to change <laughs> Guess it's going to be you then. It's definitely oh not God. It's going to be you. Listen, well, I listen. Guess you both are changing. beautiful. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna worry about it. If I'm gonna die, I want to at least be the like well dressed and not looking like Lucian. He's not my vampire daddy anymore. What? Never he was. never. Okay. Right. You or never. Speaking of well dressed, yeah. <laughs> uh, Basil's wearing a tank top with like an open, summery, you know, heat of summer button up shirt over the top. That has pool animals on it. And hot dogs. And pineapples. <laughs> Does it? No. That's not a pineapple under the hot dog. No, I'm not quite sure what that one is. I think it's just a normal. It looks like a, a pineapple. Raft. It looks like a pineapple. Yeah, it's just a raft. It's not what? a fabulous raft like that one. Um, okay. Next time we're together, I need to actually just examine this shirt because it doesn't do it justice on the screen. It really doesn't. Well. So. With that... You have some time to spare, but you know, if you want to go early, you can. If <laughs> if you want to fuck around the store for a little longer, now nah, let's fuck around and find out at Elysium. All right. Actually, before we go, I, can we at uh, least Lindsay, talk? Uh, Taco Bell. 
What, Lucian? Taco Bell. Lindsay, did you um did you see a package among the mail? I'm expecting a, a package. Did I? I no. It's I, I, something I ordered on the um e boys. Why it's a, the e boys? E -boys. Yes. You mean eBay? Sure, whatever it's called. EBay. That is such <laughs> oh, a that, weird. That is a different <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah. But still, mail. Oh. Yeah, I anyway. feel like one gets you in trouble with like the FBI. <laughs> Either one, really. What'd you order? Um, well, it's a cursed crochet baby doll. Ah! Uh, I said no to that! I know, I bought it anyway. Why? <laughs> yeah, you why you make it. You're really know. missing being a daddy, aren't you? <laughs> just looks at Basil. <laughs> he just leaves the room. Mm. <laughs> it's outside. Look, they said it was haunted and cursed. Door. I have to have it. Sasha so slams open the door and goes straight to the car. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well, with that, uh, you guys make your way out of the shop, cut out the lights, lock up, and start making way, I assume, towards the sports car, correct? Yes. Yeah. Why do you, you... insist on taking this god awful car? Zoomy cars are fun. Thank yeah. you. From behind you, you also hear a voice that joins in on your conversation. That car has absolutely no legroom. Why would we take that tonight? Wait! I turn around. <laughs> you mind? Where the fuck did you come from? What the You're... fuck is he wearing? I, you know, I've stopped trying with Elysium for him. Your good, good buddy Gideon has just appeared out of nowhere. Wait, are you riding with us? Of course. Ah, oh, good. Now we don't have to. Can't take the sports car. There's not enough room for all of us in this. Thing. I mean, you could fit in the trunk. Mm. Call an Uber. <laughs> he is the Uber. Yeah. The yeah. one Uber in the like. No. Is the only. There's Uber a lot of space. trunk space. You want to check it out? Um, Come on, Lucian. What's, what's goes happening? after him like. <laughs> As that's happening, Lucian no, just comes up behind him and holds him. <laughs> um, what's going on, Gideon? Entertaining as always. I'm, I'm just here to see how you all are doing. Really, Bullshit. you're here to see for like say bye run. before we get killed, right? Uh, no. But Stasia, how are you doing? Fine. As she's like trying to push Lucian <laughs> into the trunk, still <laughs> very casually. Basil's like partially lift. Like it started out as a joke, but. I mean, it's not the first time you tried to shove something where it didn't belong. People want to fight me tonight. My God. Anyone. Well, if y'all are insisting on taking the sports car, perhaps, Gideon, would you like to ride in the hearse with me? I'll drive separate. It's fine. No, you will not drive. Mm. You forget, Stasia, that I've been driving we, longer we than can... you've been born. Okay, yeah, oh but God. like, there's like the parallel dungeon. parking downtown. Are you like aware of that? Do you have any idea how big that stupid thing is? Oh, also the mirror kind of is a little janky, so you just kind of you can't use the little. Is machine. the parking garage no longer next to the state house, Gideon? Uh, that is an excellent question. All the more reason to carpool because we're going to downtown and there's absolutely no parking. Ah. <sighs> I'm still confused. Why are you here? Why wouldn't you already be there? Just... Did you, like, walk here? Are you spying on us? I had a hunch. As I as I do. That what? We were gonna run? No. Okay. Let's just take the big Uber car. <sighs> yeah, we gotta walk, like, a little bit, but... Oh, no. I'll I'll get it. I can get it. I, I, I can, if you wanted me to do that, it's not much, whatever. He holds out the keys and drops them in her hand. Just runs off. <laughs> How is your friend, um, William? Hank? Hank? Joey? <laughs> I'll... Yes. Hank is fine. He's, he's doing well. Good. <clears throat> Glad we were able to get to him before something really bad happened. Looking after Stasia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
She seems to be adjusting rather well. Was touch and go the first few days. Lucky for everyone, I have been grooming her. Phrasing. Creepy! <laughs> yeah, I think it's unanimous here. Never say that again. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yes. Uh, yes, nothing, nothing good happens in that place. No, I'm here mostly to see how everyone is doing, and I had a hunch, as I always do. Always your hunch. To be at the right place at the right time. You're making sure we don't run. I mean, I am not a bulky person. If you all scatter, at best I can get one of you. Who will probably yeah, but you're like a snake. <laughs> I is that opposite of bulky. Snake who likes to disappear when needed. Oh uh, no, absolutely not. He was there. Still mad at you about the whole grooming thing. <laughs> yeah, words gross and weird. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's just <laughs> things. <laughs> Get in, losers. Lin We're going to Elysium. <laughs> Lindsay 2021. Words mean things. <laughs> Stasia just careens around the corner and stops in front of you guys. <laughs> Shall we get in the car? After you. Absolutely. He's going to get the door for Lucian. You know who he is. Is this still a thing? Is it? Thank you. So, the four of you pile in and start heading towards the downtown side. Seems like there's a good bit of traffic in uh, Heligan around this time of night. It's it may be it is a Thursday, but it seems like there's something going something else going on downtown too. Isn't it... so you're missing your D and D game for this, right? D and D gets canceled on Elysium nights, as. Mm much as Prada hates that. Why is it always Thursday? Oh, we have our own schedules. We, we do have lives outside of all of this. Outside of what? All of this? Shocking. Like... Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. That sucks. <laughs> Patients don't treat themselves. Gideon. Stop. What's the likelihood that we're going to have a bad time tonight? Oh, no. Let's see. <laughs> Just... Taking into consideration everything that's been going on so far. Um, well, Stasi has been embraced, which uh, Illustra didn't give permission for, which is a big no-no. It has its workarounds in a couple of special cases, but those are few and far between. I didn't, but, I didn't get permission either. I'm just, just want to put that out there. But, um, in Stasia's special circumstance, she happens to be related to the one kindred on this planet that Alastra would just love to kill herself. So... Not a thing, not a good thing. No. Um, if, if anything, I think that she'll try to kill you in effigy. <laughs> Grabs Basil's hand. <laughs> Squeeze it a little. Are you driving? <laughs> <laughs> One hand, you can use uh, hands. Yeah, I'm just like making sure. Girl. I'm driving like, like vampire daddy. <laughs> vampire daddy. Um, yeah, we're trying to get her to stop saying that. Good luck. It's not been working. You know, I mean, if we keeps going on like this, maybe it'll maybe it'll grow on us. It's more of the whole vampire word. Uh, okay. I mean, I'll, 
We don't say stuff like that around people, people. Yeah, you guys aren't people. You used to be people. Then your heart stopped beating. Yeah, so. Also non-voluntarily for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Start a riot, yeah. Yeah, maybe like later. How much do you, Lucian? Was it voluntary for you? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, God. No. He said uh, Lucian. She looks Basil, in the Basil said Lucian. Mm. Yeah, not Gideon. Oh. I saw your oh no already. <laughs> <sighs> Absolutely not. Big crime. Murder typically is. I mean, like, you know, with Kindred and all, with all your stupid rules, should be consensual, just saying. A lot of them are, several aren't, and those are their own thing. Most of them aren't, don't do that. Just because, you know, generally all of us have had a bad experience doesn't mean it's all bad. (laughs) Statistically, statistically, there has to be someone. Yeah. Uh, Dacia slowly turns the music up louder. What's playing? <clears throat> non copyrighted Stasia- music. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Adele. <laughs> Adele. Hello. Hello from the other side. <laughs> okay, <period>. Bumping. <laughs> but if you want a more accurate idea of what might happen i could always tell you your fortune oh please please do this will be fantastic all right Lindsay, give me your palm (laughs) (laughs) wait which one your left one because it's closer to your heart obvi okay i give him my left hand i i I looked over at basil very deliberately Yes, yes. <coughs> Long life. So oh, thanks. Nothing bad at all. It's just bad things. What did you say about relationships? Fulfilling. Oh, yeah. Okay. <coughs> no. Really. <sighs> Stasia. Mm-hmm. Gideon, are you are you trying to listen to your music while you're doing this? Absolutely. Um, well, I can tell you a couple of things. Uh, just when you um, grab Lindsay's hand, for mm-hmm. instance, uh, the lyrics in your head. Oh, no. <laughs> the lyrics in your head play, I've tasted blood and it is sweet. I've had the rug pulled beneath my feet. I've trusted lies and trusted men, broke down and pulled myself back together again. All of these words are coming out of my mouth as they go across my mind. Cool. cool, cool are cool. you singing along with the music? Oh, yeah. Wait, Gideon that... just starts singing to himself. Mm-hmm. Yes, but for Stasia, I'll rouse the blood. Okay. I'm driving. <laughs> you can drive with just... your right hand. You've already determined that. Won't be that rouse check while I do this. All set. I'm not hungry yet. We're good. Awesome. Doing good. Doing good. Oh. She hands him her right hand. <laughs> with okay. the gloves on. <laughs> Gloves make this hard to do. Come on now. Level with me. Oh, come on. Ha- level with me. Make it naked. What Just was that? Even look. I'll, I'll play and pull off the glove. <laughs> Which hand did you hand him? Aha! Okay. Cool. Uh, the lyrics you hear for Stasia. Um, A S and titties. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck bitches, get money. <laughs> Girl, I'm oh just riding dirty. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I heard a knock upon my door the other day. I opened it to find death staring in my face. 
The feel of more stalking still reverberates. Everywhere I go, I drag this coffin just in case. Neat. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> oh, this is swell. Do basil next. Do I need to rouse the blood again? <laughs> Not necessarily. This is more like your ambient stuff that you keep on. Okay. <clears throat> I crane around and give him my hand. Your premonition is loading. <laughs> Please hold. <laughs> In the quiet of your room, your sweet suburban tune. <laughs> I knew I should have written all these down first. Order up what you've done. Now don't lose your fight. You've actually heard the song for Beso before when you spoke to him at Elysium the last time. Ah. Uh, it was the one that was uh, very bouncy, very fun to dance to. Um, where'd it go? Fuck. Uh, I want your love and I want your revenge. You and me could write a bad romance. <laughs> You're the reason why I was dancing to that. Well, you're welcome. Great choice. It's not exactly well, his choice. It's not, not exactly a choice, but... Better than some of the music that I've listened to. This is absolutely Thanks. fantastic. Do me next. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. This one is a stark change from Bad Romance. Mm -hmm. um, switches from a uh, bouncy, uh, poppy Lady Gaga to uh, a lower crooning of Johnny Cash, actually. All right. I wear this crown of thorns upon my liar's chair, full of broken thoughts I cannot repair. Beneath the stains of time, your feelings disappear. You were someone else, and I am still right here. Mm. Are you feeling okay, Lucien? Stasi is just looking at him through the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all looking at him. <laughs> I think you might be a bit um, off with that last. Are we there yet? I am never wrong. Okay. Hey, oh, drama see. king. Whatever. Not wrong. Really? You're never wrong. How come you couldn't figure out it was Eric before? Never mind. It's fine. Because I'm not a pop clairvoyant this is real shit i don't get to see the future in in all of its splendiferous glory i get bits and pieces like you're tuning in on a ham radio through some static but as it gets closer and i start to piece things together the picture becomes clear but my premonitions are never wrong I already scolded Prada for that one. I'm just gonna pretend like I'm streaking into my chair. <laughs> Everything is awkward and I don't like it. Well, it sounds like you have uh, some skeletons in your closet, Dr. Lucian. Doesn't everyone? Even Miss Cleo was right 90% of the time. Oh, don't be a party pooper, Lucian. No, you're that's just, what's episode your one. Your song wasn't as pretty as everyone else's, and it called you out on your bullshit. <laughs> Skrrr! <laughs> <laughs> is trying really hard not to, not to smile right now. <sighs> better than I am. She's doing better than me. Dude, keeping a straight face is hard. It is. It is, when you're not straight. Hey. Hey. 
است I love this magical music box, man. I'm a delight. An absolute party favor. Fucking fantastic. <sighs> well, if nobody else wants to get anything fun started, I do actually have something for one of you. Just Windows notification. Hello? Windows notification, indeed. It's just... You know, every time there's paperwork involved in something, somebody fucks up somewhere, and I'm gonna just slide a piece of paper Lindsay's way. Oh, it's you. you're the fuck up. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll take the piece of paper and look at it. It is a vaguely familiar document to you, Lindsay. You've seen it once before when you signed it once before. It's a copy of your marriage certificate to Nicholas. And give me uh, intelli- give me intelligence and awareness. Not very smart. <laughs> so this is going to be fun. Aware- oh god, this is a terrible roll. <laughs> the Windows update noises are just coming out of Gideon's mouth. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, that would be okay. <laughs> this part of the thing. I promise I do not make AOL dial-up noises anymore. <laughs> That'd be terrifying. Thanks. Anymore. <laughs> um, two successes. Um, from what you can tell, everything seems squared away. <sighs> Give it here, and I take out one of my pens, my really nice pens, and I circle what she's looking for and hand it back to her. Okay, I look at it again. It's a social security number. It's yours. And it's not right. Some would say that's not you on this certificate. And that would make it void. Oh, fuck yeah, congratulations. <laughs> like reaches up to high five. I I confusingly high five her back. Did I write my wrong? Oh, it, the only part of this paper that was filled out by you was the signature at the bottom. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. You don't know if Nicholas did it himself or if one of his assistants did it, but whatever happened, that- they fucked up. They fucked up. Oh, fucked up. Oh, you're single and we're going to a party. Yeah, oh, we are. No. Why not? Thanks. Oh, wait, no, we get Gideon. Mm-hmm. Yes. This makes life very interesting. Doesn't it though? You know, I happened upon it quite by accident. I was in the public records office for historical society documents, and I clumsily knocked over one of the stacks of paper and I tried to fix it, but I caught your name. And then I read through it. Why was this just in a stack stack of paper? Clumsily. No. How did you know it wasn't her? Wait, 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 wait. How did you know her real social security number? It would have been with a couple of other documents where oh. there's a discrepancy between the two. Mm-hmm. It's like a file kind of deal. It is a file. I was concerned. All right. I am calling. Oh, yeah. Again. I just have all of your social security. <laughs> Gideon's not stealing your identities. <laughs> I mean, at this point, you a blessing. You don't ask why it's sent, okay? All right, this is a good thing. Let's just move on. Yeah, it's like karma for the whole bullshit with the body and the port of John. Great job on that, by the way. No, stop! Really no, stop! God damn I still it. don't understand. I could have sworn I got rid of that body. I like. I know. I mean, it's just the weirdest thing. Was it fucking you? God damn it, why? Why did you break the legs and shove it deeper inside? I didn't do that! I know! It was that one! It fucking breaks. (laughs) (laughs) I'll slam forward a little bit. (laughs) I have a seat back on. (laughs) This this all started because of you? 
whole thing is she's just going the fuck off. In fact, she starts screaming in Russian. <laughs> hey now, Prada understands that language. That's rude. Rude! Because <laughs> <laughs> of this! Easy, easy on the brakes in the cast. Back there to start trying to strangle him. Oh no, I'm like shoving her back. I'm like, no, no. This, this honking outside because you've just stopped in the middle of a fucking lane in downtown. This honk, cars are trying to go around you. There's like lights flashing at you. Oh, no, uh, what the fuck? She's like taking off her seatbelt now. No, no, no. Go back to driving. I'll fight her off if I have to. No. You're fat now. <laughs> no. You want to fucking fight? I. I'm gonna take the bat from her. <laughs> Listen, I was just in the neighborhood because I was following my music. What the fuck does that even mean? I see the future. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently, not enough of it. <sighs> You're like, literally, okay, how much of the future like, can we like, see? <laughs> That's what I thought. Moving along. <laughs> Stasia, do you want to do you want to get in the passenger seat? And I wasn't there for you. Chinese fire drill at all. Is that James? Mm -hmm. Yes. What was that? And I wasn't there for y'all at all. That was just a sideshow that I got distracted by. I panicked. (laughs) I'm not okay. Murder is wrong, and we really try not to do it. Nothing's to the best of us. The response, however, was just truly immaculate. <laughs> oh, you're right, it is hard to keep a straight face. <laughs> I, I didn't know that I was supposed to call somebody, okay? Well, when you have a relationship that hides you away and doesn't tell you anything, that tends to happen. <clears throat> Listen, Lindsay, it's not the first time I've seen something like this before. It is not a mystery to me. Among kindred, among mortals, it happens. It's always awful. Sure, she's just lowering herself into her chair. Has Basil taken the uh, the driver's seat? <laughs> Stasia, how you doing? <clears throat> Fine. <laughs> Just. All right. I'll let you, I'll I'll let her drive for now. I don't need to be psychic to know that she's not fine. Listen, if you fucker honks at me, I'm gonna fucking make him eat it. No. All yes. right. Let's just go. Uh, I would advise you not do that. <laughs> We're gonna Chinese fire drill this. I'm <laughs> switching. <laughs> <laughs> so jumps out and goes and opens the driver's seat and pulls Stasia out. And moves her out. <laughs> she's like just straight up middle fingering everybody on the way. Like fucking what? Fight me! Oh, for, no. Okay, okay. There are still cars like uh, honking at you and moving around, and like some people are like, what the fuck's going on? Are these hey! are hazards. Put on your hazards. He starts flipping him off too. He's just like, fuck you. Oh. <laughs> 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 no. They're in the middle of the road and they're angry. <laughs> Fighting all these bitches today. <laughs> False stress. Following my music was, in fact, the right choice for tonight. Oh, barely. Yeah. Well, seeing this, it makes a lot more sense that, you know, Stasia is a Bruja and not a Ventru. I can't imagine her trying to schmooze with those sticks in the mud. Finally, something we agree on. That is interesting, but a conversation for another time, I suppose. Yes, because look, we're here. Are we there? I don't know. Just... You're tr- you just know I like, got that going. Like you still have maybe a couple minutes. Yes, but if you were interested, I can tell you how Eric is doing. Uh, as a heads up, this is out of character. That was thunder. So if power goes out, I'm sorry. 
I need to have Figure a talk it out. with your power company. Mm. Dacio perks up just a little bit. Yes. Oh. It was whirlwind teenage years. I learned a lot about you, Stasia, from Eric. Oh no. Quite a wild time. Is Please he dead? do enlighten us. Stasia, do you want to take the reins? What do you guys want to know? <laughs> Look, Eric and I banged uglies for a little while. It's not a big deal. It's whatever. Uh. I was more interested in the fact that you shot him in the leg and left him for dead. But that's that's interesting too. We knew that. No, we didn't know that. You knew that after she told I, you. Yeah, and yeah. you know all the money and the robberies and the real Bonnie and Clyde act going on. It's pretty impressive. Uh, okay. So she's like trying to like be one with the chair. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing she's not driving anymore. <laughs> yes, indeed. It was a long time ago. How old are you? Uh, <laughs> so anyways, so Eric is a Malkavian, and he's not handling it very well. Kind of realized that when he started murdering ghouls. Well, it's more than that. He's oh. splintering a little bit, but that's its own issue. The real issue is the fact that he had a sire who was also a Malkavian. That yeah. is hurting people. Same sire that turned the girl that showed up at Elysium the last time? Who? Clara? Probably, probably muttering sure. the same dumb shit that Eric was. That can be yeah. taken care of. Cars down. Uh, Gideon, you don't know for sure mm -hmm. if, if the two of them have the same sire, mm -hmm. but they were both saying the same thing. Yes. Regardless, they were both embraced and let out into the world. And that is a no-no, uh, not only for the Camarilla's uh, standards, but <sighs> don't, Malkavians don't, they don't, you're not supposed to do that. <sighs> Our curse is not like your curse. You get to keep your mind intact. Are you saying you're not of sound mind? Gideon? I'm saying that with the embrace comes a fraying. Sort of like a tapestry. It starts to unravel a little bit. And those threads connect with other threads and you become privy to a vast network, but that doesn't stop the unraveling from happening. And some people handle it better than others. And if this continues to go along, there's going to be a lot more dead bodies piling up because of it. Hmm. Exsanguinated dead bodies. Dead bodies that lead to consequences in the grand scheme of things. And this sire is still around. Presumably. We have no idea. Just that he goes by Mockingbird. Hmm. If we're gonna be fine, they let this guy turn a bunch of people and let them loose and make them crazy, and let like let him. He's just doing it. Yeah, well, they're probably trying to find him to stop him. What's probably gonna happen job. is we're gonna probably have to try and find yeah. him and stop. Pretty him. much, it's some dumb shit that's gonna have to happen. Shit does ro roll downhill. Ugh. That is, if you live. Which I would really like for you. I have grown rather fond of your antics. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I feel silly for asking, but did anybody find anything interesting while you were in the sanatorium? Oh, I found I, th I was alive and then I was dead. I did find that. Yeah, a little preoccupied trying to find, you know, the murderer and then finding our friend disappeared. 
Okay. Nastia looks at him through the mirror, though. Mm hmm. What, what did you find? Yeah, did you find anything? Uh, I did not. Star, it's been so long. Did we find something yeah. interesting? Yeah, Stasi is just being a dick. And I'm reading her <laughs> through the mirror, even though she's got shades on. <laughs> Let's talk about it later. Mm -hmm. Yes. I know you didn't just find Jesus. <laughs> I think I did find Jesus. Pretty sure I did. And then immediately, Jesus. you know, maybe... The Lord has forsaken that my life. It's actually thinking about it, it was probably a good thing in the grand scheme of things that you were embraced because your spirit could absolutely be trapped in that hellhole for eternity. What? 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 It's haunted as fuck. Where did those spirits come from? They're not free range. They <laughs> died there. <laughs> I didn't see All any right, ghosts buddy. there, so I don't think it is haunted. You need to look with your special eyes. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> there are certain abilities as a kindred that you can pierce the veil and see beyond. I don't think I need to, you know, yeah, still you know processing the whole yeah. undead part of our lives. I don't want to think about the ghosts. What? The, the, the after afterlife? Yeah. <laughs> what? Probably gonna die. What? <laughs> That's, we're already dead. It's fine. Yeah. Maybe and you and I would. I, I would be very interested in having this conversation another time. Mm -hmm. You have said some things that uh, I've read about, and uh, seems yes. like you know. Yes. Your specialty is in the occult, isn't it? It is. I find that somewhat ironic, given your propensity to be startled. Oh shit. Propensity to... You he says you stare easily. I know what he's saying. It's what he's implying. Were you there? Oh! You fuck. That would make so much <laughs> sense on why the haunt was... Were you just following us around, you psychopath? Rude. I'm, I'm, oh, that's rude! Being a stalker is rude! A Malkavian, a psycho, is so incorrect! I'm sorry! Are you? If you were anybody else did not a Malkavian, I would have called you a psycho anyway! And it would be just as hurtful. <laughs> it's 2021, bro. You were you, were you also the shadows that Stasi was seeing? The what now? The shadows. First of all, Eric. none of you can see me when I am in stealth. We'll see about Second of all, I do not come with creepy ambient shadows that haunt the, the periphery in your lives. Are there anything other than La Sombra that can do that? Would I know it in that? Um, both of you give me intelligence and occult. Okay. Sure. I have to look up what that is. Intelligence and occult. I don't have anything in a cult. No, I'm just kidding. Wait, oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> I have four uh, intelligence. I was about to say, so four, that's five, six, not seven, correct. And I have to use two of them as hunger, right? Yeah. One, seven two, dice, two are red. Two, three. Five dice for Gideon, two, four, or one's red. Yes. Five, six, seven. Uh, that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six successes. The red one is a Ankh with the fangs. Ankh with the um, fangs! So both of you know that definitely La Sombra, uh, mm -hmm. with their powers of oblivion, are known for shadow play, creating shadows, shadows showing up. Mm -hmm. It is not unheard of for obfuscate to create shadows on the periphery when someone is near something, especially if the user of the obfuscate power is trying to do so. Mm. So it's not entirely unheard of for something other than a La Sombra to do something like that. But it's not just La Sombra. It's not just the powers of Oblivion that would create something like that. Okay. 
not in my wheelhouse. Is it in Eric's? Uh, Eric is quiet, but he's not that good. I don't think, at least. Well, he slipped through the Camarilla's detection efforts for quite some time, so perhaps he's better than you think he is. Camarilla is very self-interested. If it doesn't, and if it doesn't pertain to them, such as ghouls, the they don't really life. care. The only thing that became the convenient thing about this is the bodies. The bodies that were liquefied? Or were there more? Just the ones that you found. It was more so the inconvenience of lost information and that sort of thing. Because until the Coterie found out that there was a hand, uh, they were assuming they were kidnapped. Mm -hmm. Whose hand was it? Do we figure that out? Ah, yes, yes you were it into was. That for us. Uh, Prada told you guys um, that night when he came to visit. It was the ghoul of Cyrus Moore. I do not remember what the guy's name actually oh, was. Oh, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. That's right. I'm sorry. That you're right. Hmm. Forgot about that because we couldn't talk to Cyrus because he was out of fucking town. Convenient. Oh shit. Well, it wasn't him. We found out who did it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but if you were interested the historical society has finally finished fixing itself fixing itself from, what do you mean from what from what indeed he is a person does not <laughs> yeah no I, that is not uh, mm. uh Lindsay yes from from the break-in oh that's rather unfortunate well, oh. it would be if I cared about the artifact that was stolen at all. I was more interested in the break into Samuel's office. Man, that sucks too. It does, because, you know, it was really, the entire thing was very incongruent. Uh, the artifact was smash and grabbed, and then the office was broken into. It's like there wasn't a very clear plan of how things were going because if they wanted to break into Samuel's office as a diversion to what was going on, the glass wouldn't have been shattered in the first place to draw attention away from it. So it really feels like a petty move, plus the doctorates and uh, business, uh, his, uh, his, his permits, the historical society's building permits that allow it to do what it needs to do were also taken. Um, and if that doesn't scream petty, I don't know what it does. Well, we just moved. <laughs> Who did we lose? DB? We said we need one thing to not happen tonight, and that's for someone's no. camera to turn off. <laughs> Hopefully there's no power outage. That's all right. I can move things well, around. Well, she's still here. There she is. Uh, give me just a second. I can move this. I can fix this. You good, DB? Uh, DB, where were Sort you? of. Everybody's a black box. Oh, okay. Basil, sorry. Okay, Lindsay. Okay, oh, we're fixed. Oh, going. Give there us a go. minute. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! A camera cut out. Come on! <laughs> Give us a second. God. We're good. Beautiful. And besides, Prada and I do talk. Yes, quite frequently. You play um, not a sex game. Exactly. If you want to play a sex game, download Grinder. But what's Grinder? <laughs> No, it was. I do like later. a yeah. over the shoulder yeah. fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> Is this but. like the only the fans only? Like like the fans only, yeah. I'll have to look into that. Cassie could probably tell you more about it. She's really techy. Put it on a list of things. Oh, you're no longer. Oh. <laughs> we moved. It's fine. I got it. I'm on it. But yes, uh, everything Sorry. going on with, with Samuel's office, the fact that the door was practically ripped off its hinges, it uh, points to not a mortal with a grudge, but perhaps a kindred with a grudge. And that list, I mean, Samuel isn't a great guy, don't get me wrong, but his list of enemies that I would actually try to do anything like that is very, very short. Hmm. Curious. Luck with your investigation. Indeed. 
so about that but, time you guys finally pull around. I will say though, you know, heaven forbid you were involved in that in any way, shape or form. Heaven forbid. Samuel is not to be trifled with. Um, he is introverted, but he is also right, a luster's right hand. And he is... Oh, he's kissed enough ass to make it that far now? Jeez. Dangerous. Second it, Jesus. He's he, been... He can command a room. He, he didn't get this far through ass kissing alone. Gotta use tongue. The whole tongue. <laughs> so yeah, you guys make your way up to this huge building around the Can corner. My internet go out now, like what? right? <laughs> <laughs> so uncomfortable. Don't leave us. <laughs> Rounding a corner, a little more hard than you should have. Um, you find the old state house looming above most of the other buildings on this block. A wrought iron gate borders, borders the small, neatly manicured lawn that lays between the street and the tall brick facade of the old state house. Ivy creeps over the walls of its wings like lines of ants over the legs of a massive resting predator. The, the driveway makes a grand curve that sprawls itself before the columned entrance, where visitors are making their way into the golden light that spills out into the cobblestones. As you pull in, you find that there is a designated parking area and a valet that walks up and offers to take your car. It's a little rich for my blood, but she does love to throw a party. Get out. Yes. Hello? There you are. <laughs> I'll uh, give him the keys and do the like watching, watching you. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, he doesn't say anything. He just nods and very politely, carefully gets into the car. You know, starts it back up, waits for you all to get out, and pulls. Wait, 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 wait. That's a what? gold person, right? You don't know, for sure. You can assume that either they are blood-bonded in some way, or at least paid very well to be very quiet. Okay. I do care about all of your successes. Whatever you do, just don't lie to the prince. Lying is a mystery to all of you, and she is not dumb. Understood, Gideon. Thank you. So, <clears throat> the five of you walk along that cobblestone path up to the beautiful columned entrance. As its name suggests, the old state house was once a magnificent residence, but it has since been converted into a luxury hotel and venue. Inside, a glittering chandelier hangs over a vast foyer, and a grand staircase stretches upwards towards the floors above. The ivory walls are rife with antique gold filigree, and rich wood furniture accentuates the large reception desk that takes up the right wall. But the sharply dressed attendants directly towards a pair of double doors to your left, which have been propped open and lead to an equally grandiose hallway. At the end of it, you find the entrance to the palatial ballrooms. That's where Elysium is taking place. As you step down the hallway towards it, you can hear the music floating out from these, these doors towards you all. You can already see the movement of several figures in rhythm to the music. And as you walk in, you find there's a, a good few couples who are dancing around to the music that's being played um, from a live band up on a, a stage. Small stage, but a stage nonetheless. There are kindred uh hovering around the edges of the room at small tables where there are goblets of uh, blood, more uh, tuxedoed servants, very similar to the last Elysium, who are walking around with little flutes of blood as well. And for all intents and purposes, it seems like a grandiose and beautiful party. I'm gonna scan the room. <laughs> Uh, give me insight. No, in, no, not insight. I know you want insight. <laughs> not this time. Uh, <laughs> wits and awareness. I would love to do that for you. You'll get an insight later. Don't worry. <laughs> Six stars. What about the rest of you guys as you all step into this room? I'm grabbing the first flute of blood and downing it. Not even just 
whatever's on the tray. Okay. Well, you can reduce your hunger to one. Uh, I'll also... After you. Nope. Bitch. <laughs> Basil. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, I will also grab a flute, and then I'm gonna kind of look around the room and make, like, I'm just gonna clock everybody's reactions. Like, are there a lot of people watching us, or is it just everything's continuing as usual? I will say for you specifically, as you look around to clock, there is a notice specifically of your shirt as you walk in that starts close by and then, like, kind of radiates. (laughs) And Stasia, okay, she's leaving. Yes. I was just going to see if you were going to do anything in particular. I'm a follow Gideon. Okay. Not like weird follow, like, mm-hmm. hey, buddy. When it's Your a follow, problem. got it. Um, Gideon, mm-hmm. doing an over, uh, over, like you said, six successes? Yes. Okay. The, uh, you know every face here. You've been to enough Elysiums at this point. You know who shows up and who doesn't. But watching the crowd, you see um, there's quite a few couples that are dancing, but there's a very wide berth in the middle where you see a single couple that is Illustra and her current pet dancing in the center. Uh, the blonde woman that you all have seen her stop speaking to before. Do you see, uh, you see that Dell is dancing with someone? Off to the side, you see where Prada, Lachero, and Kasabian are all chatting. Do, basically, that's who um, Prada kind of defaults to when you're not there. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to remember who all my NPCs are. You don't see Samuel. Of course, you definitely don't see the sheriff. I look at every shadow and be like, that creepy bitch is here somewhere. I know she is. I feel it in my bones. Oh, you know she is. She's always here. But that's large. By and large, that is the main group that you see. Mm -hmm. Who's Del dancing with? Who out of everyone has piqued her interest enough for her to be dancing? It's some Ventru. You know she doesn't care about this guy. You've seen her, like, toy with him a little bit. Way to go, Del. Just doing us all proud. She's just having fun. If I, if, if I catch eyes with her, I'll nod. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got hey, a raid! Right. Thanks for the raid! The raid! Welcome, welcome, Raiders. We are at Elysium once again. This is season two of Nerd Asylum by Night, an actual play, um, actual play Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle for Extra Life. Woo! So, Lindsay, you also step in alongside everyone, take a second to clock, and then you hear your name from the side. And stepping towards you, once again wearing the suit, is Nicholas. <laughs> and the rest of you absolutely see this as well, because you all are still a little, you're spreading out a little bit, but you're still pretty close together. You see him stepping out from the side there. He looks more excited than you've seen him in a long time, Lindsay. He doesn't normally s- seem glad to see you but this time he does this bitch up to something i want to inside him (laughs) do you even need to i look at him go for it she also looks at him kind of sus like (laughs) he's not like overly like excited but like he's got a smile on his face as he's walking towards you i know that's what's tipping me off that man doesn't smile (laughs) <laughs> Even fucking Stasia was like, Mm-mm. Mm-mm. something ain't right with that one. She's standing right next to him, like something's not right with that guy. Mm-hmm. Just I just imagine the like two- everybody's lined up behind Lindsay, going, Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. 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 I don't think he's the one. <laughs> he does. 
he does step toward you, towards you, and when uh when he actually gets to you, he kind of like reaches out for a hug, and uh, just says, "Lindsay, darling, I've missed you." Ew. I read the stand for self. I have nine successes. I hug. I hug him. I okay. guess. Yeah. When uh when he pulls away, he gives you like a kiss on the top of the head, kind of deal. Says it's. I'm glad that this is over. Is it? Uh, well, of course. You completed, from what I understand, you completed the task that was set for you, and so you can come home now. Well, we're gonna have that talk? Yes. You asked to talk, and we can talk. Gideon, there's definitely a control thing going on here. He's definitely just happy to have her back with him. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Lindsay has done a phenomenal job, Nicholas. You're looking quite dapper tonight, I see. Hey. Just he give looks up, Gideon a look. He looks up and seems a little surprised to see you with Lindsay. My group left without me. I had to catch a ride. I see. Well, glad you could make it. You're looking well as well. Thank you. And he starts to kind of walk away with an arm with Lindsay as though to pull her away like he... Would have done in the past. Dacia grabs Lindsay's other arm. Scared <laughs> 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 apart. <laughs> we should probably stay together since we're probably going to be needed together. Not without you. He stops. Uh, Nicholas stops. Hi, I'm Sassy. And I don't think we've met before. The look he and Gideon, you clock this too. The look he gives you flashes very dirty for a second. She's holding out her hand. Nicholas Ashford, Lindsay's husband, and he reaches out and shakes your hand. <laughs> and then she just takes Lindsay's arm, or like puts her, her, like when he goes to shake, she just like, no. And then she like puts her arm around Lindsay's Oh, shoulder, so you fucking snuff him? Hurt. You fucking snuff his shake? I fucking course I do! Fuck that guy! I've been waiting to tell him to go fuck himself since the moment I fucking saw him! So I slide into the frame. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't worried about Stasia. I should have been worried about Stasia. Yeah, you should have. Why wouldn't you be? I'm an adult. I have two adults. It's fine. So basically, you slide in and you just and pull her away, and he's left like. When he steps in, she puts another one up. <laughs> you see him. You see math. 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 <laughs> oh no! As he processes. Can I? Can I take? Can I take Lindsay away in the time that it takes him to uh, realize that I'm a piece of shit? <laughs> I'm a little as he's, as he's composing himself, he's just like, "We should dance at some point, Lindsay," and then. Step the answer's back. no! What? <laughs> he doesn't react to you, Stasi, but he does step back. What? He couldn't hear you. He kind of like... go back. What? What? You don't have to pretend to fucking like him anymore. So, I'ma just slide this in here. This is a very delicate situation, and Stasia, you're incredible when it comes to support. A little heavy-handed, and these kinds of situations do not respond positively to that kind of intervention. He's not married to her. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows that! Not yet. I handed that to you because of that. And I know you did, and I... I would like to have a conversation with Nicholas and not have him completely lose it. I'm gonna completely lose it anyways. <sighs> Kept you inside of a building for four years. That is ludicrous. Ludic let me let me let me put it this way. Ready? Okay, ready? It's anyone else except you. Ready? Okay. Do you see how that sounds crazy? All right, I'll go back to my vampire daddy. No. No, 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 bad idea, bad idea. <laughs> Thank you, but it is 
delicate. And a marriage and family therapist's worst nightmare. <sighs> oh, they're a therapist. Lucian will just murder them. I'm not going to therapy. Let's return to that. <laughs> no, we shouldn't. In that. Don't worry about it. Let's put a pin in that. That's new information that I was unaware of. Um, it's it's okay. I I will be fine. But he is still my sire, and we still have to have a conversation. There's still things that I would like to know. Closure is fine. Say what? What did you say? Which one? You. You, Gideon. Closure is, closure is nice. Yeah. There's a lot of questions. So. I'm already making plans on getting away, okay? Gonna steal the nearest shoot and go stand over there. <laughs> um, music doing. What's your music doing? Yes. Um, well, it got kind of weird for a second there. There was a very, very ominous tone there when uh, Stasi was straight up just snubbing uh, Nicholas. You hear blood in the water. Well, that's delightful. Uh, Lucian and Basil, what are, yeah, what are you doing? Besides watching this debacle. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Lucian has pulled out a small notebook and it seems to be writing things as he's watching. Just Just chugging flutes of blood. Basil's standing just a little bit away from the whole thing that happened. He has like his arms crossed. He's just like nodding with everything. <laughs> um, Lucian, give me wits and awareness. Wits and awareness. I'm okay with that. Uh, two and one, so three, and two of them are hunger. No, one of them is hunger, right? And actually, Gideon, you giving two. That is two successes. Five. Five. <laughs> Did I? Oh, fuck, I didn't grab her character sheet. God damn it. Um, Lucien, you see a couple of... As well lit as this beautiful room is, it's got gorgeous crystal chandeliers above, uh, bright lights on these columns, on the walls. It's gorgeous and glittering. There are still a few pools of shadow. Just in the corners. But at this point, you know why. Gideon, you noticed, especially when you were, you, you kind of did a cursory glance over. And now that this has resolved, you kind of look up again and you see a little bit of movement in one of the shadows. That's not exactly the same. Doesn't really line up with the way that you know that the sheriff moves. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just isn't the same. I... I'm interested. I'm gonna follow it. All right, it's not moving. It's just it's it's it was more like a blip, like in one of the established sort of like shadows between like a dark window and a um a dark curtain window, mm -hmm. and one of the um pillars. There's a little bit of movement. It's there and then it's gone. So you start to step over there. Is anyone going to follow him? <laughs> Everybody follow Gideon. Nope. No? Just stay in put. Okay. Off in the I'll corner follow. with your notebook. Yep. I'll follow. Um, so Gideon, you step a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. And after a second, you start to see a figure in the shadows. Small, female, holding a flute. Do I recognize this person? Takes a second, and then you realize it's Clara. <laughs> Clara, sweetie, what are you doing? And the rest of you immediately see a person. 
as this girl, the girl that you all recognize from the night that you all met, looks up. She's dressed very nicely. Her hair is all done. Uh, she's got very uh, black hair, straight, a little bit darker skin. She's holding it and she's, oh, uh, Dr. Doctor Steele, um, I'm just watching. I... What, what did I do? Nothing. You haven't done anything wrong. You just seem uncomfortable. There is, yeah, there's a lot of um, kindred here. I was still kind of, I, I don't like, it, it's a lot. It takes a lot to get used to. I'm not going to rush you on that one, but it's good to see you doing well. You're doing much better than when I first saw you. And it looks like the sheriff's taking good care of you. Yeah, it, it's been, it's been a lot. How are the voices? Better, better. I've been trying to do what you told me. And you see her eyes kind of flicker to Stasia for a second. And they, her eyes get a little bit wide. And then she... Yeah. They're still there sometimes, but... That's... They don't ever completely go away, but it gets... It, it, gets, it gets better. I promise. I'm, I'm not Hans, but it, it gets better. I hope so. I'm working on that. I will figure that out. Uh, and she, you see she's kind of like looking at Lindsay and Stasia and Basil, but not like, she seems like she's afraid to say anything. I know, it's been a minute since, you, since you've seen them. They're not hostile. And Basil seemed like he was nice to you. She just waves. You, you do look better. Not all. <sighs> yeah, sorry about that. Um, I don't really remember a lot. I remember you. You were really nice. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, whatever happened, it's not like it was your fault. So it's nothing to apologize for. Yeah, but why are these... Somehow I still feel like it kind of was. Ooh. Absolutely not. Why would you say something like that? Because they... I don't know, they just act like everything was my fault. It's just they were, they were going to... They were... That's just... He gestures to the whole of Elysium and the party. That's mm -hmm. just... You know, the face. It's not just the face, it's Look, the package. It's it's not your fault. It's it's out of your control. And it's nothing that you need to take to heart. We aren't very well accepted amongst and I look out to the crowd of all the bullshit is we don't fit in there. But it's okay, because we have us. Like us, and she gestures to you and her, or us, and she gestures to everyone. Yes! I get a good feeling from these guys. But us, too. You, <clears throat> Gideon, you realize that when she glances at, whenever she looks around and her eyes hit on Stasia, she looks away very quickly. <sighs> and I side-eye Stasia. Do me and Lindsay notice any of this, like, it takes, a little bit, going. <laughs> it takes a little bit longer, um, but because she's having a conversation and gesturing and looking, but you see her doing that. Like she's trying to stop something. She's trying to shake off something. Are you okay? I'm okay, yeah, yeah. What does it sound like? You know what it sounds like. I told you. Interesting. You want to share with the class? <laughs> She's coming. And you see her, like, deflate. <clears throat> coming, Lindsay. Duh. It's, and she kind of, like, just just for you to get a little bit closer, Gideon. Mm -hmm. It's what she 
she's wearing on her neck. I take a minute, process. Stasi, what are you wearing on your neck? <clears throat> Can't hear you. <clears throat> family, fa- family heirloom. I would like to take a closer look at it. <laughs> If you don't mind, I'm I'm not here to invade your personal space. Well, it's the only way you're getting it off of me. Okay. Uh- <laughs> it's the choker that she's had on. You you've seen her wear this pretty much every time you've seen her. It's mm-hmm. the choker with the key at the bottom. What does that go to? A box. What's in the box? Can't hear you. Eat the mic. <laughs> Eat the mic. <laughs> oh, but you heard that. Yeah. yeah. But if I said fuck really quiet, you'd hear it. I heard it just now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, some some old papers and stuff. I can't really open it. But you have the key to it. Why can't you open it? <laughs> I mean, I can open the box. I can't open some stuff that's in the box because, you know. As in? In good, you know, and not, it's like warded or something. When did you try to open this box? A couple days ago. No, it was about a weekish weekish ago. Hmm. Interesting. No one else is interesting. Hmm. Someone breaking in to our our place. Now that I think about it, we've been mentioning it, and it sounds really familiar. Similar kind of uh, mo, just going around scribbling. I don't know what they were looking for. I was worried at first that it could have been something like Eric, but no one should know about the box, so... Imagine being about the box. Almost as if they were looking for something. That is odd. Yeah. Weird, right? Look, I know you're suspicious of me since, you know, my antics are my antics. But it, you would know if it was me. Now that you've spent time around me, you would know if it was me. Oh yeah, I'm absolutely not worried about if it was you. I'm just more interested about... You know who did it, but I'm not even really worried about it, honestly. Not. But that being said, I did find something, and I just kind of didn't really want to... Um... I'm getting... I-, I just figured it was something private, so... If it's something private, let's go somewhere quieter and more well lit. Side eyes the shadow. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> yes, it's. I appreciate it for whatever it could be, but Elysium isn't exactly the most. Private place. Which is why I didn't bring it with me, because that would be weird. I expect it to die, so. I mean, like, die, die. Like, not, you know. Well, that's, I mean, all things die. It's just a question of when. That, that one's the weird part about it, you know, dying the twice, the one time. Well, yes, and actually that that actually brings up a very, very interesting point about how Kindred view the final death, because it's like they're more afraid of it than they were their original death, because now that they've cheated death once, there's all these implications of, well, you know, is, is death going to be pissed at me? Is there actually an afterlife? Do I have to answer for the things that I've done? As Gideon is rambling, I'm slipping away. <laughs> Fuck this. Okay. 
imagine he's just pulling Stasia into a dark or a well lit area. <laughs> yes, yeah. a quiet and well lit area. Yeah, we're moving to a, a very nice with lights, beautiful. Yeah, there's place. a there's a corner with some like lovely plush furniture. Um, it's not like there's only like a four chairs or something like that, so it's nothing like crazy. But like off in the corner, there's like a nice little sitting area that's got some lamps and such. Is there a chair on top of the chair by chance? No, we Joss. <laughs> <laughs> all right yes we can go there and yes no, uh, <clears throat> there's not a chair on top of a chair but there is a uh trophy head of a white moose with some really darkly red antlers it's weird i feel a sense of kinship for no reason whatsoever it's weird i'm going to make sure that we don't sit underneath it just in case it falls <laughs> She uh, immediately just goes, like, right next to him, like, you know what, I'm not even gonna question that. <laughs> Lindsay, where are you slipping off to? Back walls. I'm staying out of the middle of the crowd, because I hate it. And, Basil, are you doing anything in particular? I will go with Lindsay. He's really torn. He wanted to, like, follow Gideon and Stasi off, but I think we're going to go. Seeing Keep Lindsay, Lindsay alone, Lindsay alone uh, kind of knocks your, uh, it hits your um, Nicholas senses. Yes. <laughs> yeah. They're tingling. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I must go. <laughs> so um, the two of you kind of slip off to the side away. Um, Basil following Lindsay's lead as she kind of makes her way across that back wall. A few songs have gone through now. Um, some dancers have come off the floor, some dancers have gone on, but Alustra and her partner have been going the whole time. They seem to be having a great time. And from the side, from where you are, you hear, hey, Lindsay, hey, Basil. And you realize that I you have, over. you realize that you've kind of like strayed over next to Prada and the two people he's been talking to. Hey. Hello, Prada, how are you? I've been doing excellent. How about the two of you? Peachy. I don't want to be here. <laughs> what? They're just a bunch of nerds. It's fine. No, not, not them. <laughs> Practically harmless. Here. <laughs> Prada starts laughing. The other two that he's talking to are like kind of look between each other confused. So the two of them, there's uh, one man who's in like black not quite a suit but you know sort of all black clothing he's got short cropped but fluffy red hair and he's short he's rather short especially considering he's standing the man he's standing next to is very tall and very muscularly built and you said red hair and he's really short yes short redhead and the man that he's standing next to is very tall and has like almost like a mane of silver hair. But he doesn't seem to be young. I mean, he doesn't seem to be old, sorry. He has the basil hair going on. Yeah. But the two of them just kind of like glance at each other. As Pro is laughing about the nerd comment. Uh, Basil holds his hand out. And you are... Um, the shorter one holds his hand out and says, Latra. Name's Latra. Lacha? Like matcha? La matcha lacha? Lacho. L-A-T-R-O. Ah. That wasn't and, close at all. And the taller man doesn't hold his hand out, but just kind of like nods and says, Kasabian. I give him a hearty slap on like the forearm, you know, like Bromigos do. Mm -hmm. He kind of, he returns it and you kind of like... You're knocked off of your balance for a second there. He's strong. Hot. Cool. You, you know, I was just kidding when I said you were nerds. I mean, you are, but you're not like, you know. Latro, Latro shrugs and he's like, I mean, we kind of are. And Kasabian just like, mm. I ain't into that nerd shit. Which one of you is the sorcerer? Prada just like, oh, that's not either. It, Gideon. Gideon's a sorcerer. 
And actually, honestly, I wasn't even correct. I was mad, and I was just... I was... I can't remember... He's multiclassed into, like, three different casters, and I couldn't remember which one was the main... You have to ask him. It's some okay. kind of weird multi-class conglomeration min-max bullshit. I don't remember. But he's the sorcerer I was talking about. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's let's not ask, let's not ask about that, Lindsay. I'm you lost me. Uh, <laughs> it's a great party. It's a little livelier than last time. That's for sure. Yeah, I thought it was like, if you got an invitation, you'd have to show up. Where'd all these people come from? Well, some of us just know when Elysium is. If you got an invitation, that's usually means you have something specific to be here for. I know that you got an invitation because I know what you all did. Listen. As far as the ghoul, as far as the ghoul thing. Thank you. It's nice to get a little recognition. Yeah. We solved the what? It, oh, you did. You yeah. solved it. You solved it. I had to mm -hmm. do all the paperwork and the process of the aftermath of that, and be there for the interrogation and all that. But yeah, you did it. Good job. What, sorry like that. Job? So, <laughs> sorry that I was kind of off that night. That night when oh yes. you all went to the I thought place. when he said he was off I thought he meant like emotionally <laughs> no he did mean that he did mean that oh because he was very pissy that night I don't remember this <laughs> I just look at him like mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay Fake it till you make it. I don't remember that. I don't remember. Was pissed at Gideon. That was the reason why y'all even heard from Gideon. This oh Prada. This is Prada. This is Prada. Got it. I was <laughs> assuming someone else was talking to me, and I got confused. I'm sorry. No, it's Prada. You're talking to Prada. Yeah. <laughs> he is the one holding a conversation with you all. We had two other people there. I had to make yeah. sure. Yeah, the other. I two wasn't sure if like, it was a leprechaun or not. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you put him in a green suit, Star? Because he's not a leprechaun! Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> not a mother, That's not what a, a leprechaun, leprechaun would fucking have to say. Why do you keep stepping on our dreams? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I'm okay, sorry. but are they real in this world? Like, just ask. Who knows? I don't fucking know. That may be a changeling thing. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> If you could change into anything, why would you be a leprechaun? <laughs> That's not what I meant. Okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't want to be someone taller. <laughs> I'm sorry. Moving on. <laughs> Please don't kill us. <laughs> I'm not even worried about this. I'm more worried about you. <laughs> not me. You're the one making the dumb jokes. <laughs> I made one leprechaun well. joke. <laughs> Lucy. Yes. You are you watching for anything in particular as you're over here taking notes? What are you taking notes on? Uh, I'm taking notes on uh, personal things that'll probably come up here soon. Um, but I'm also specifically looking for Morticia. Why is that? I want to see if she's here or if she's not here. She was at the last one. She was. And I want yes. to see if she showed up to this one or if she is not here. It is very hard to miss her, but you do not see her. Okay. I'm going to keep an eye out looking specifically for her. Okay. Okay. <laughs> standing there keeping an eye out taking notes on i imagine the venue itself what's going on the people that you see you recognize some people um off on one side kind of towards like the opposite side of the stage honestly not super far off from where gideon and Stasia seem to be having some kind of conversation and looking suspiciously at the moose on the wall <laughs> um 
You see, there's that gaggle of Ventru that you tried to speak to at the last Athesium, seemingly led almost by Arabelle. Um, amongst them, you do see another Ventru that you feel like you saw last time, and you almost wonder if maybe this might be Cyrus, because you kind of you clock him this time. He's looks like he's an older gentleman, was embraced when he was older, has kind of salt and pepper, like the... What are facial hair terms, guys? <laughs> what are you looking for? Yeah. <laughs> like like not it. quite a beard. Chin strap? Yeah, chin strap is a thing going on. Um, with, you know, shorter cropped hair. And he's, they're all having a very polite, if not huffy looking conversation because they're all hoity toity ventru. Mm -hmm. I scoff and roll my eyes. As I continue to look for Morticia, I'm also going to kind of keep an eye. Where is Samuel at? You haven't seen him. Okay. And as you look for Samuel, mm -hmm. and you stand there, you hear someone behind you say, Dr. Visago, may you come with me? <laughs> I'm going to turn around and see who it is. It is the white-haired La Sombra Sheriff. Just in, dressed in sharp Vanta black. Eyes completely solid black. If I had a heartbeat, it would stop. <laughs> <laughs> but then I would nod and yes, of course. We were all worried about like... Stasia! Lindsay! No one thought about our, bo our boy! <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have left him alone. Fuck. I lost my pen because I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't wear the glasses. I don't know where. It's but at. they look oh, well. awesome. I have other pens. It's fine. Okay. So, so yes, I follow. She nods to you. Turns on her heel and walks. She's very got a very straight and very um, sharp step as she leads you back down the hallway that you came from. A few doors down, not all the way. And opens one of the gorgeous, <laughs> like this place is overly decorated, but you're extremely familiar with it. Opens one of the doors that leads to, seems like maybe some sort of salon. A few books, a desk to one side, a fireplace that is empty. There's a small lamp that's been turned on, but the entire place is rather dim. And she gestures for you to go inside. I do. I nod to her. She shuts the door behind you. You realize that you don't know if she followed you in or not, because as soon as she did, it got very dark, and she seemed to just disappear. Oh, and turning back into the room, you see that there is a figure sitting in one of the chairs. Do I recognize the silhouette? It takes a second because it is dark and your eyes have to adjust. Maybe even heightened senses is necessary. It is Samuel. Okay. He says, Dr. Visaga. Samuel. It is good that you decided to attend this evening. I have something to speak to you about. <laughs> I just nod. <laughs> I can't with y'all. I can't with y'all. <laughs> so he gestures towards another chair for you to sit down. I uh, walk over and sit down. I would like to kind of glance around the room to see if I see any like heavy shadows that would lead me to the believe. entire place is heavy shadow okay so it's really like the only really th even with heightened sense is the only thing you can see very clearly are some books along the walls the facade of the hearth the desk itself the chairs everything else the corners especially the corners and the ceilings of the room is high ceiling completely dark okay as soon as you sit down samuel stands up and he turns and wanders almost towards the bookcase. Seems to just kind of be looking over it. 
And he keeps you in suspense for a good few moments. It's been quite a while since you've been to the Historical Society, hasn't it? Actually, it's been a month the last Elysium was hosted there. That is true. I'd finally deemed you fit to be invited to one of our off Elysium get-togethers. That's right. It's been much sooner since then, though, hasn't it? If you're going to insinuate something, come out and do it. He turns. A l not quite slowly as you would think, and just looks at you over his shoulder, past his glasses, past his platinum straight blonde hair. Says, If you're going to break into someone's office, at least do something worth doing. Stealing documents? It's petty. Oh. Welcome, raiders. Oh my god, we got another raid! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Great timing! Uh, hello, raiders. We are Nerd Asylum by Night. Murder. Blah, blah, blah. Shit. <laughs> Vampire the Masquerade, 5th edition. Actual play chronicle. Raising money for Extra Life Children's Charity. Uh, there's some heavy shit going on because somebody just got caught doing a no-no. <laughs> I don't know what you intended on taking from my office. What the fuck? <laughs> Those are our follow notifications. Oh, oh okay. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> I don't know what you intended on taking from my office. But you could have at least made more of an effort to cover your tracks. Hmm. Well, if it was me... <laughs> ...that broke into your office, and I was good at covering my tracks, then this would not have happened. Exactly. You're messy. Indeed. Again, if it was me... I have reason to believe that it was you. Reason. There Evidence, are... perhaps? Yes. Then, out with it. Evidence that others have seen. Others have heard. Things that you have said and the mark upon your ghoul. So everything has led us to this. Indeed, and I could report this further to Illustra and have her decide what to do about this. Or you could do something for me. And we can let this go. Considering oh, there was- Please, by all means, bring Illustra. I would love to speak with her. There's a shift in the darkness in the room. And you realize there's a tendril of shadow that has been slowly working its way up your body. And at that point, it tightens. All the way up to your shoulders. <laughs> he just smirks and says, I don't think that you want that. You have the authority to dispatch of me on your own then. This was merely a formality. If you would like for me to deal with you the way that I think that you should be dealt with, then certainly. But I thought that I would try to get something out of this before well, you are going dispatched. to get anything from me. <laughs> this is the hill you want to die on. I have been on many hills. This is my last, then so be it. But I don't think you have the authority to do so without someone else's approval. A voice, seemingly from nowhere, the voice you heard a moment ago speaking to you, says from directly behind you, 
In truth, he does. And I do as well. Hmm. Then I have played my cards wrong and apologize. But I would like to speak with Illustra. Consider it a final request. Thanks for the raid, guys! Oh my god, is that another raid? Holy yes! shit, you guys! This is amazing! Sorry! Things are going so great! <laughs> <laughs> One of the characters just decided he's gonna fucking die on this hill! Yo, again, don't want to hear shit about the Nicholas thing compared to fuckboy over here. And not the kind of fuckboy you want. It's a sad fuckboy. <laughs> I said don't fuck with Samuel. I'm just gonna put that out there. It's almost like he's a bruja. Like, he literally just did the exact opposite. Right? Who would have thunk it? Samuel just sighs and says, well, if that's how you want to handle this, she's going to be busy with business during Miss Elysium, but afterwards I will make sure that you are brought to her. You feel the the, uh, the, the shadow tinge will kind of tighten again and then release. Am I to stay here then, or? <laughs> well, if you are so certain about not taking a deal and allowing your mis misstep to stand, then by all means, go enjoy your last night. <sighs> then if you'll excuse me. And the door opens seemingly of its own accord. And there's- uh, the light outside is almost blinding at this point because it's so dark in this room and Samuel just gestures. Have a wonderful evening, Samuel. Sheriff. And I'm gonna walk out the door. Alright, back out into the brightly lit hallway, into the glittering ballroom. Where the rest of the kindred of Hilligdom Camaria dance and smooze. Uh, so Gideon and uh, uh, Stasia. Yes. <laughs> what was your fucking name? Goddamn. How is this conversation going? I'm so, so interested. I don't even know if I can even at this point now after I have to be new. Uh, well, I think that at least Gideon would be prescient enough to notice when Lucian is inexplicably walking back into the ballroom. Mm -hmm. You see that um, Dell is no longer dancing. Prada, Lachero, and Kasabian seem to be talking to Baso and Lindsay, laughing a lot. <laughs> yeah. When I see Lucian returning, my eyes are gonna, you know, do a once over, see what I can see with my special eyes. <laughs> Are you talking about heightened senses, or are you talking oh, about please. premonition? Please, please, heightened senses. <laughs> I have no reason to try to premonition anything right now. I mean, his hair looks a little, he looks a little, little bit ruffled. Okay. Neat. That's yeah. a talking point for later. Straightening himself out. Let's put a pin in that. Stasia, you said you wanted to talk to me about something that you found in the sanatorium. Yes. Yeah, sorry, this moose thing is really freaking me the fuck out, dude. Yeah, it's a little aggressive looking. Yeah, it's like <coughs> out of place. Anyways, so, uh, is it watching us? What was that? Is it watching us? I stare at it real hard. I want to stare at it real hard. I want to use my special eyeballs. <laughs> you want to use Since the Unseen? Yeah. On the moose, you don't see anything. It's just a really freaky looking moose. <laughs> I'm doing the, I don't think I'm doing the special eyes right. As you do kind of like turn your gaze off of the moose and kind of look over the party for a second, the shadows that you know to usually mean the presence of the sheriff kind of waver a little bit, almost as though maybe something probably the sheriff, is returning into the room. 
You don't really see any ghosts that you're aware of. And you don't see anything that may have been hidden. But, you know, the shadow. You see the shadow moves a little bit. Huh. Maybe it did do it right. Anyways, right, the thing. Um, <clears throat> it, it was a rosary. Um... It was a cross. Oh, right, it was a cross. What kind of cross? Just really weird, because like I know I knew the initials on there, and it was just like a weird G and an H, which is weird to put it on a cross. I don't know what that's about. It's mine. I'm uh, sorry, for better. Bruja, or whatever. I haven't... It's been a long time since I've seen that. Really weird, like, what the fuck is it doing? And that's actually what got me actually captured by Eric, you know? <sighs> Nothing good ever happens in the sanatorium. Yeah, everybody knows that. Well, you were standing where I died, so there's that. She looks, if she could be sick, just sick. <laughs> if she was alive, she'd be pale. <laughs> yeah, there's that. want to hang out around a weird table in the back of the house sometime in the middle of the night and talk about our life for two hours and then mm -hmm. not talk to each other for like seven months. Mm-hmm. We can do that. There's a lot. I'm... I, she's like, just pats him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey. Well, I mean... I went there in a hearse to begin with. She just hugs him. She <laughs> just doesn't even know how to. Uh, I hug. hug. <laughs> Awkward hug. I appreciate that very much. The first ambulances were hearses. How do I know that? Ugh. Okay. Uh, you know, um, <clears throat> I have. I have questions, um, but not here. Another mm -hmm. time. Uh, okay. I can't, I'm not going to say I'm not going to look at you the same because I'm not. I mean, I am. Uh, I'm hungry. I'm going to go that way. Sure. Okay. We can do that. Okay. Yeah. The, and I eye the moose. That. <laughs> <laughs> also, Lucian looks like he's gotten up to something. Oh, great. Most, most people don't disappear and reappear ruffled. Maybe he found a playmate. <laughs> yeah, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't even know what to do with it if he had it. <laughs> okay. So it just goes over and starts straightening him up. Lucian, you look horrible. Did you fall down yes. the stairs? Should we get life alert? <laughs> so funny, Stasia. So bold. Thank you. I like to say so myself. Yes. Thank you, Gideon. Um, things are going well, I think. Are they? I'm not, um, well, I suppose I'm physically ruffled, but... I'm actually having a swell evening. People don't get ruffled at Elysium. You've been drinking, like, a lot, and I know for a fact it's not your type. And what is my type, Stasia? AB negative. Mm -hmm. No, it is O positive, but it's fine. He just takes it out of his hand. <laughs> It is not fine! Let me enjoy. Fuck's sake. 
There's some. She like looks right at. There's something fucking wrong with him. Yes, this is not his usual uh, repartee. Yeah, he's been a little sad. Point. Just go get him a fucking drink. <laughs> <laughs> Goes to the bar. You two have a very interesting relationship. Yes, well, you spend uh, a year and a half lying to someone that tends to stress things a bit. What were you lying to her about? Everything. Gideon, I thought you knew this. Mr. I can see the future. I do, I and I can also everything. read your fulfill, but that's not, not, this is neither the time nor the place. Look, the majority of Kindred, aside from the Sheriff, are very large print children's books when it comes to me. I don't have to read your mind, it's written all over your face. I can tell that something is up, and it is wonderful that you have Stasia in your life still. As explosive as that relationship can be? <laughs> explosive is one word for it. Confusing as shit is another one. Everything is working out fine. I'm having a great night, and I am ready to begin this game. What game? This game that everyone else seems to be already steps ahead on. I've been oh. playing catch up for years, but I think I'm well, ready. The game to rule the kingdom of Ash? Is that um, some pop culture reference? It's a metaphor. Okay. That one went over my head. It's okay. Yes, I know, that's what I've been saying. Ugh. It's okay, but you're clearly not okay. You're clearly grappling with a lot of different emotional turmoils that all seem to be coming to a head all at once, as they tend to do when you're immortal. Sure, I have no idea what you're talking about. Kindred don't deal with emotions, remember? Oh, yes, you Malkavians are different. As a Ventru, I have no emotion, right? I just stare at you. That is such a fucking lie. You just don't know how to handle your emotions, and so it comes out in these awful ways that end up hurting people around you and reinforce the things that you were trying to put in place. Hmm. Not very many honest kindred around here. Why have you been so elusive? That's me. I've been around for a long time, and this is the longest we've talked. Ever. Part of it has to do with the timing. Ah, yes. I listen to the music, and otherwise, I'm a ghost. And when people try to find me, it's a crapshoot whether or not they can actually locate me. I'll consider it a privilege that you've given me your number then. Mm hmm. Another bit of serendipity because Prada put, put it out of my prescription pad, which is very illegal, but it's okay. Yes, well, it was supposed to happen, yes? Timing yes. and premonitions and all. Yes, it is. And uh, you have not been around the Camarilla for very often, for as old as you are. Mm. I think it's about time that I um, climb the ranks, as it were. That is uh, an interesting goal. Again, all there is a the spot game. open as the Ventru Primogen, is that correct? Yes. I suppose that spot is, technically speaking, open. Though you'd have to fight. I look for Arabelle wherever the fuck that. Oh, you know where she is. She's not hard to spot, especially <laughs> the way that you've been looking over the crowd. Just that bitch. Well, perhaps. Perhaps not. It was her sire. Yes? Oh yes, I forgot how important a role that plays. 
Uh, it can and it can't. It depends on a number of things. I'm here because of my sire, adoptive sire. That's a thing. It is. I had heard. I don't know if you ever met Hans. Hans? No. I have not had the privilege. Perhaps someday you can um, arrange a meeting. If he's still alive. I'm sure he is. If he's anything like you, he survives. Well, he's he was a tough old... He was built like a shipwreck house and tough as nails, even though he didn't look it. But uh, he got the calling. Uh, Beckoning. Sorry, yes, that. The beckoning. Yes. Is this a Malkavian thing, I take it? No, it's actually a kindred thing. Funny, I haven't read anything about that. Do explain. The beckoning is a point that can happen at any time. Typically, it happens in older kindred. It is the beckoning to join the Gehenna War. Ah. Well, hopefully we don't get that call. I've seen enough war in my time. Yes. If you study the occult, surely you know about the Gehenna War. I've read enough to know that it's like any other war. Mm. Two sides of power fighting over control. It's all the same. More like a return to death. The final death. Yes, well. Harbinger of the end of times and all. Everyone dies. Everyone final dies eventually. Indeed. It's unfortunate. I do find it interesting, though, that Stasi is a Bruja and not a Ventry like yourself. Yes. That is... Odd, isn't it? Everyone would expect her to be a Ventrue. Not fit well as a Ventrue. I can understand the uh, hesitancy to embrace. But given your relationship, it was odd to me that Basil was the one to do it. Well, as you like to say, all things in good time and Things that are meant to be, it will be, and all that, yes? I just have a hunch that you ought to keep your impulses in check. And I don't mean that to mean, oh, I'm coming down on you. No, it's more of the the inner war that you have going on in your psyche. The, the things that you want and the things that you can't have and just juggling all of these different things. You may want to be careful how you approach the circumstances. I have been nothing but careful and you presume too much, Gideon. I have been nothing but careful, says the man who disappeared to a strange part of Elysium and came back looking ruffled, as if he had had some kind of altercation. But do go on. Again, presume all you want, Gideon. Everything is going fine, exactly as I want it to. Then indulge me. And I would like to rouse the blood for a premonition for Lucian. <laughs> did I walk in? <coughs> I am a little bit hungrier. <laughs> All right, let me mark that real quick. You're at two. Yes. I think you're surrounded by blood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, what better place to be hungry? Be right. negative? Be? <laughs> no, we're trying to be positive. <laughs> awesome, because this is all they had left. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Stasia. Thank you very much. A bit irony, but it's very um, good. Get in, you hear Snow White Queen. And you remember who exactly that song is associated with in your head. Oh. I see. You see what, Gideon? You crossed Samuel. Fine, 
Yes. Yes, I did. Tread carefully. Is that I a bit of concern that I hear in your voice? Yes! <laughs> Why do you think that I have grown fond of you people? I enjoy your company. I enjoy your antics. It is delightful. No, he won't take that. He, like, it just seems odd to me that after all these years, you finally show interest and concern for me. I've also been hiding inside of a fucking haunted store, so... I would say that it's the monkey. It's definitely the monkey, but we don't even know what's in the basement. But yes, it is concern. Because Samuel is dangerous. Yeah, he's kind of has like bad guy hair going on. Link. He is low key dangerous. As in, the majority of people do not see what I see. I see that which tries to hide. And I know that underneath the veneer is something sinister. And you would do well to keep yourself out of his crosshairs. His connections alone help him wield a lot of power. But he's no slouch either. I'm sorry, were you talking to me? I had a message that was important. I heard all of it. I just... Okay. Yes. That was to, to Lucian? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I wanted to make sure I wasn't interjecting myself. Um, no. No. Okay. Yes, it's not my first time dealing with Samuel. I'm well aware of his capabilities and connections. And Are you a but gambling you know... man, Gideon? What was that? Are you a gambling man? Is it really gambling if he just knows? It's, that's like cheating. <laughs> no, like you're just making hard. educated decisions on the information that you have, yes. <laughs> Some people have more information than others, it looks like Gideon, but gambling is still gambling. What the fuck are you ranting on about? Do not gamble with the Prince. I grab his face as I say this. I have no intention of gambling with the prince. Samuel I can handle. The prince is another story. I appreciate your concern. It's nice to have... Dare I say, friends? Acquaintances, but we can see where it goes. Good start. This is like it goes between them and just like airs out the space. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what went on in the bowels of this building, but it's got bad juju written all over it with your appearance alone. Sheriff roughed me up a bit, but... The who roughed you up a little bit? The sheriff. sheriff? And we still don't think that this is an issue. Absolutely not. The fuck is wrong? She's like, Stasia just like goes over and like, what the fuck is wrong with you? So there's a difference between gambling and stupidity, and you're walking a real fine line right now. You're being a fucking jackass. Well, you know, Johnny Cash once said, I walk the line. Johnny Cash also said that he wears a crown of thorns on his liar's chair. That Put seems a pin in that oddly one. specific. It's really, it, I feel like it pins you for perfectly, okay. and right now you're being a fucking asshole. Stasia, know your place. Excuse me. She has equal footing with you. Partner. She looks in the eyes. Partner. 
We may be partners and you may be kindred now, but you're still baby and there are a lot of things that about being a kindred that you don't understand yet. You will. You're very intelligent. You're very quick, but you're also more Bruja than Ventru. And yet, wisdom appears to not come with age for everyone. <laughs> yes. You can um, make your jabs all you want, Gideon, but when the cards are laid on the table, I think you'll find that this gamble has either paid off or it's finally paid off. Well, the confidence says that you might be closer to a bruja than you give yourself credit for. I'm going to lean in real close into Gideon. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to whisper, never liked being a Ventru. How did you come to be one then? They're typically a picky lot. Yes, yes they are. Uncomfortably walks away. <laughs> Uh, St blah, 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 blah. Basil and Lindsay. I forget everybody's names. Everybody's <laughs> Stasia now. <laughs> Basil and Lindsay. Yeah. yeah. Um, are you guys doing anything in particular besides just chatting it up with Prada? He started to tell you about the D&D uh, &D game when Gideon did bail. About oh, how man. they... he. It, there's a lot of technical jargon, a lot of things about initiative and this role and that role, and man, we needed Gideon's portents, and I hate that he wasn't there and shit. Uh, and talking about how Latro's character stabbed the dragon in the ass, and they got their asses handed to them by this dragon. But somehow, uh, somehow managed to survive in the end. I am keeping an eye out for Nicholas, because I feel like he might pop up at any moment again. <laughs> <laughs> um, also keeping a side eye I wish we were there <laughs> the you guys uh, do see him he doesn't seem to be trying to hide or anything um, Lindsay you recognize his usual click that he's speaking to for a little while and you see him glancing over at you every once in a while a song ends and another song begins and you see that he actually walks over and confident not like trying because you feel like most of the time when you see him he's coming down on you most of the time trying to like bear down and intimidate but he's seeming approachable this time and he holds out a hand and says would you like to dance i take his hand and go on the dance floor with him <laughs> and it's weird because you haven't you don't see him like this much very often anymore. And for a second, it's almost a glimpse of the way that he was when you were still mortal. The person that you did fall in love with, whether it was forced through vampire coercion or through actual affection. But he takes you out to dance, you swing past a few couples. It is lively and it is fun. It's actually fun. Why is this so hard? Like, I know he's a shithead, but Lindsay's <laughs> like, why is this so hard? I'll keep dancing with him for a little mm -hmm. bit. I'm not going to break off and be a dick or anything. Um, Basil, while you're watching this and you kind of like glance around to find your friends to kind of get a get an eye on the room you see prada actually glance over to where you know gideon to be but gideon is distracted talking very animatedly to uh lucian and stasia but you see him glance over as though he was trying to shoot gideon a look and then it's not responded and he's just... and then he looks at you and says that doesn't seem good hmm well, I'm sure it'll be fine. They'll work it out. Grab some blood and yeah. hand it over. <laughs> yes, let's hope so. Better than last time. Last time. Hmm? Last time? Last what? Better than last time? I don't know what you're talking about. 
I ah, I'd say you're as bad as Lucian, but you just, it's gonna take a lot to get that bad. Just hang out with me and Gideon for long enough, you'll get used to it. Great. We need a lot more of these. Need a different kind of these, you know, the one that's a little more got a little oh, more yeah. substance to it. Is there anyone else, like, that I... Do I see Morticia at all? Just like when Lucy was looking earlier, she's hard to miss, but she's not here. Especially in an open room like this. In the last Elysium, there were a few different rooms that people were kind of moving in and out of in, like, that one central room. And so it was easier for her to kind of leave sight. This room is huge. It's spread out. It's easy to see who's dancing and who's kind of around the wings. Nothing. Blech. So, the song ends. And Nicholas uh, kisses Lindsay on the hand as it finishes. And, you know, kind of leads you over to the side and lets you go back with uh, Basil and Prada. And Prada's just, like, giving you some, like, side eye. Throw my Can, eyes at him. There's a, there's a lot being said in those eyes. <laughs> oh, okay. You're pushing all kinds of buttons on the keyboard, aren't you? Sorry. There oh, gosh. Go. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, then stop pushing buttons on the keyboard. Instead of starting up a new song, the band remains quiet and actually begins to leave. Put their instruments down. And clear out and you see the dancers all sort of look around and wander off to the sides there you see that um Illustra sends her partner over to the side of the stage and walks up to the stage herself the uh, event is about to begin hand kind of grips nicholas a little tighter oh he was gonna let you go but if you're still with him then oh i i Thought he was wa standing with them. I mean, I'm trying to shoot Prada a look. Oh yeah, it, you you finally catch his eyes. It's like he's been trying to get a hold of you for <laughs> like 20 minutes. <laughs> and he's just like, and, like looking at Lindsay and Nicholas, who are still standing next to each other. <laughs> it's a whole conversation across the room. He's just like smacking Prada, like, stop. <laughs> so, the band clears out. The kindred all fall silent because they figured out what's about to happen. You see that Samuel stands at the side of the stage now, very similarly to how he stood at the side of the stairwell when Elestra spoke last time. She stands. She walks, walks her way up and stands at the front of the stage, opens her arms up, once again dressed in an absolutely gorgeous glittering dress, hair pulled around in tight curls. And you're having almost flashbacks as she once again spreads her arms and says, my kindred of Hilligdom tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't. Every time. Every time. Once again, I would like to welcome you to Elysium. I hope you're all having an excellent time. It's been a while since we've had one here. Thought it would be nice to have a more relaxed night because we do once again have some business to attend to. Not to be repetitive of myself, but once again, I need four kindred to come, and she pauses on that last word, to come forward. Lindsay Ashford, Basil Parker Wells, Anastasia Novak, and Dr. Lucian Visago. Uh, Gideon, I know you're watching, and you see just a little annoyance on Samuel's face as he watches uh, Lucian step up. I give Stasi a pat on the back. You got this. <laughs> 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 
So once the four of you are standing, not necessarily close to the stage, but apart from the others, she looks down at the four of you. Her eyes linger a little bit on Stasia and Basil. Stasia awkwardly grabs Lucian's hand. <laughs> Just like subconsciously. Mm. I don't like the way she's looking at me. Last Elysium, you were given a task to investigate the kidnappings of various Camarilla associated ghouls. And you have done well by apprehending and identifying the killer, as we discovered. And so the four of you have been released from this debt, and you have completed your objective, honestly, in much faster times than I would have thought. A little bit of an edge when she says that. <laughs> she doesn't appreciate appreciate efficiency. Got it. Next time we'll drag our asses. <laughs> <laughs> Killing Stasia not to say anything. <sighs> she squeezes fucking Lucian's hand harder. <laughs> so to tie a bow on this situation. She glances over to the side, and the shadows seem to coalesce in the corner, and the sheriff is standing there. Jesus. <laughs> so that scared. Was, the noise. That was a perfect timing for that follow. It, Thank you. It was. Thank, Thank you. you for following. <laughs> Things are the getting crazy. The shadows coalesce, and the sheriff is standing there. And she pulls from backstage a figure, or motions more so. She does not touch the person, but motions more so, and a very dazed and slow trudging Eric steps forward. Stasia's face goes from la 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 to. <laughs> Lucian returns the squeeze of the hand. And he walks forward being essentially shepherded by the sheriff who stops him in the center between yourselves and the prince's stage. And it's odd because you know that you were in that exact position last time being between the rest of the kindred and the prince. But now it's Eric. And she looks down her nose, both at you and at Eric, with just so much disdain and says, Eric of Clan Malkavian, you have been found guilty for the murder of four Camarilla ghouls and a breach of the masquerade. And for this and your transgressions, you'll be sentenced to the final death. And you watch the sheriff pull from her side. You did not realize that she had a sheath on her until she pulls this gorgeous slick sword and levels it at Eric. Everyone, give me in, uh, wits and insight. Ooh, ooh wits and insight. To... Oh. Uh, Two success and a skull. Skull is good because you got two successes. Okay. Four successes. Twelve. Fuck off! <laughs> God four, damn it, four. I need to curse all your dice before I send them to you. <laughs> <laughs> You know I wouldn't do that to you, James. Jesus, I'm just glad you're not like against us. Yeah, Yet. be glad. I, uh, I know. Uh, three. Three. Okay, so two, three, four, four, twelve. Yeah, fuck off, James. Yours doesn't matter. You <laughs> notice everything. Oh, five. Stasia and Lindsay, you are just a tad closer, being sort of more in the center here. Something is weird about Eric. There's something off about something about the movement, 
maybe the way that the light's interacting. It's something seems off. Gideon, mm. your music changes. What's playing? It, <laughs> and you also see this kind of weirdness. It is, it changes abruptly to Pretender by the Foo Fighters, specifically the bridge. The lyrics are saying, I'm the voice inside your head you refuse to hear. I'm the face that you have to face, mirroring your stare. I'm what's left. I'm what's right. I'm the enemy. I'm the hand that'll take you down and bring you to your knees. So who are you? Mockingbird? Are you going to do anything? can do <sighs> oh no Ugh, fuck me I push my way up something's wrong and the sheriff has the, sh has the sword up poised ready to go at the neck and she stops and she looks and Illustria also looks. What? The music changed. Eric doesn't look like Eric. Desdemona glances at, sorry, the sheriff. Now you know her name. Desdemona? Oh my, the <laughs> I love the her name. <laughs> Mm. The sheriff what looks at Illustra. And Illustra gives Gideon a long look. There's just then... a mix of concern and confusion plastered over his face. And she's known you long enough. She's had you as the primogen for long enough to know. And she turns to the sheriff and she nods. Desdemona puts the, sh the sword away again and reaches out for Eric and grabs the nape, like grabs the collar. And it's almost like the world shifts and the curtain falls away. And who was Eric is now Carol. What? And she looks bad. It looks like she, she looked way more roughed up than Lucian did earlier. She, her whatever lovely suit she had worn for the night has been thrown aside. Her hair is all in disarray, and she looks the same way that Eric did a moment ago, completely dazed and completely does not know what the hell is going on. And you see uh, a lustrous face fall. She's oh my dear, and she actually steps down from the um from the uh, stage and she goes to Carol and like kind of holds her face in her hands is what who find him find him and Desdemona nods and turns and goes and she looks across the room and you see she exchanges a look with Latro and Kasabian who have also become very like serious and focused and also turn and go can I heighten mm -hmm. senses I want to see if I can see if i see anybody like moving moving away. leaving yeah besides like the ones that i know are moving away mm -hmm. i want to see if anybody else is doing anything that would be suspicious yeah for sure um mm -hmm. give me wits and awareness plus aspects wits and awareness not all of those are great this but hold on great. look around as well yeah, yeah for sure building okay. that is particular do what this building like the history of this particular building. You just know it used to be a luxury hotel. You don't necessarily know anything about the security or the basements or anything, escapes, anything like that. He looks over at Gideon and asks him, do you know anything about this building? Do I? <laughs> about the same. It's not really one that Elysium has been held out a lot. It's not really a place that you frequented. It's a building. <laughs> It's big. It's got a lot of entry points. Can I use willpower to reroll? Okay. Don't you don't have to ask. You just do it. Oh, okay. Well, I wanted to make sure you knew I was doing it. For CBN scene. Ooh, 
Okay, better. Since the insane would be wits plus awareness plus aspects. Mm -hmm. I'm also. Six. Actually, I think it's resolve plus awareness plus aspects. Or wits plus resolve. It's. I'm sorry. Wits plus resolve. Wits resolve aspects. Six, seven, six, six, six. six. Okay. Uh, hang on, sorry. My dice are everywhere. Three, six, eight. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. So the two of you, the um, the place is a buzz, not loud, but people are like glancing across and talking and like also kind of keeping an eye out and like what how the how did this happen we like they're like did you see that yes i saw that and it seems to be that everyone saw eric turn into carol it's almost like there was a mass illusion um stasia what did you get sorry six okay we can't hear you for some reason eat the mic um between the three of you you know that Desdemona went back backstage, seemingly to maybe where Eric was before. Kasabian and Lantro, one went for the other side of the backstage and one went for the door. As far as you know, those are the only entry points to this room. Stasia, you're not seeing anything untoward. One second, actually. Yeah, you're not seeing anything untoward. But um, the uh, the murmur and the buzz goes quiet as um, Illustra kind of like leads Carol over and hands her off to Samuel. Just silence. We're not done with tonight. And she steps around and steps back up on the um, up on the stage. He will be dealt with. But now we have a different thing to take care of. Another masquerade, not masquerade. Another breach of the traditions. That is the storyteller fucking up. You two, and she points at Basil and Stasia. While under the jurisdiction of the Camarilla broke a tradition of being, of embracing someone without permission. The punishment for this, as you must well know, is the final death as well for both the embracer and the child. Dacia's eyes go wide and, like, look over at Basil. <laughs> but? Oh, there is no but. And she, like, goes back around, almost behind, like, a podium, and pulls out, essentially, what is a rapier? <laughs> Shit's going nuts, and we're the only ones solving your mystery, and you're gonna kill us. That's 50% of the useful people in this whole goddamn crowd. She holds it up and steps forward and um, says, the traditions of the Camarilla are to be upheld. And she starts to step down towards you all. And you hear the doors of, <laughs> you hear the doors of Elysium burst open and some very <laughs> loud footsteps start crossing the ballroom. Oh no. <laughs> no. Lustra, you Fat fucking cow! I object on the grounds that you're a raging bitch in Cape Town. No. I know you're playing her too tonight. The co the pr the crowd parts. <laughs> Absolutely, just <clears throat> separates, and there is n there are no kindred left between the four of you, Illustra and Morticia. Morticia, <laughs> there be <being> me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I level my eyes at Alustra and then I glance. 
shocking disappointment of a spice cabinet. <sighs> <laughs> and what where the uh, the weapon had been lowered at base when Stasia points at Morticia. She's, Don't you even fucking try it. I'm not in the mood for this shit tonight. When are you ever in the mood for me? And yet, here I am, and I take a couple number of steps forward to interpose myself. So you essentially kind of step forward between the, between the four of them and like at the point of her sword. Mm-hmm. And she's- I, It's a rapier, right? Oh yeah. Twing. <laughs> Just the tip. <laughs> <laughs> Your childer broke the traditions when they were working for me. Yes. And now they're going to- You uphold your own rules so frequently, 100%. You're just the most consistent thing out there. Tell me what's consistent is how much- I'm not here for this tonight. These two are to die. <sighs> well, you're so stubborn, but I guess a two for one deal ain't bad. Dare I even ask? What? I object to your ruling. You can't expect me Morticia Marigold, not to retaliate in some way, shape, or form. By doing what exactly? Well, who's to say? A child of mine for a child of yours? It seems pretty fair. And I kind of twirl my way over and rest my head on Camille's shoulder. So Morticia twirls over to the blonde woman you guys had seen before, who steps back hurriedly and just looks fucking aghast. And the uh, the, the rapier, which had been kind of lowered, goes up against us, don't you fucking touch her. You're willing to end this decades old standstill over our rightly broken rules. <sighs> I am nothing, if not bellicose. Do I need another reason to piss you off? And besides, I know this one really does seem like your favorite and she is quite beautiful. Great job, good taste this time. Uh, <laughs> but- I give him a look. <laughs> we both know that you'll be able to replace her, you know, once the grieving is over. Immortality really does put the sting into a lost donut. And then, you know, you'll have more time to play with me. And we can pick up right where we left off. You see Elestra look at Camille, and Camille just like, Looks very terrified to be standing next to Morticia now. But hey, who am I to question the ruling of the Prince of Helictum? And she lifts the sword against his, get the fuck out of my Elysium and take them. I will, but you know, God ruined a perfectly good asshole when he put teeth in your mouth, but I suppose you had to spew shit out of somewhere or you'd explode. And I grab both of them and skip my way out. <laughs> you put your sunglasses on on the way. And with a hand on both of their shoulders, dig in my claws a little bit. Actions have consequences. Yes, Mama Tisha, whatever. <laughs> The three of them march their way out of the ballroom. Elustra turns in a huff, gathers Carol, and takes her backstage. 
<laughs> Desdemona is nowhere to be found. And the gossip that has begun to permeate Elysium has absolutely started back with a vengeance. And that, I think, is where we're going to end the premiere <laughs> oh, no, no. of season two of Nerd Asylum by Night. No. <laughs> spicy, spicy, saucy. So spicy. Holy shit. Uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Thank you, James, for being our Gideon hey. and our Morticia. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It was great. For anyone who doesn't know, James is practically the ghost writer of this game because there's a lot of shit that we throw back and forth. And Gideon, Morticia, Prada, Gray. Who the fuck else? Mel, Del. Yeah, but they haven't really met Mel and Del yet. There's a lot of characters in this game that are also his. So. Can we take it? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. This is uh, the first show that came back for uh this season um you can catch the premiere of neverwinter on wednesday at nine um keep an eye on all of our social media as we will be posting more shows that are coming out as the weeks progress um you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at The Nerd Asylum. You can also follow this show specifically on Instagram. And at, now Twitter. And Twitter, yes. And I'm Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> at NA by Night. Um, uh, on Instagram, it's NA by Night, one word. On Twitter, it is NA underscore by underscore night. You could see that I didn't set that one up. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um please if you like what we're doing and you would like to support us please consider becoming a patron it really helps with us start um building on the shows that we have going on making new shows um if uh uh you can also support us by buying merch in our store uh you can get one of the beautiful posters that is behind joe you could get one of the cups that i have for ilvermorny um yeah there's all sorts of fun things on our shop and we're always adding new things um wow it's been a while and i'm forgetting shit it's been a while. um it's been a while Join the discord <laughs> yeah tell us what you thought of this episode we went longer than we normally do yes which is always longer. a good time um but uh we'll see you guys in two weeks to see what happens with all of that did we just enter a civil war? We might have. You don't know. It may have been going on much longer than you're aware of. I know, but we may have somehow problem. broken a truce. So hooray us. <laughs> anyway, have a good night, everyone. Stay yep. safe out there. And as always, stay nerdy, friends. Eat the screen. city that brought you Kentucky Fried Chicken comes Roll for Weird, a Monster of the Week actual play podcast. Join Philbert Fogel, Doomsday Prepper, and Expert. I mean, I'm kind of like the linchpin that's keeping everything together. Laysath, the Divine. And I still owe him my life, so I would have to end yours. It would be a mess. Shadow. The edgy initiate. I trust him with my life. I don't know if I trust him with my car. Misty Charlotte Paladino. Spellslinger. But I haven't set anything on fire that I haven't meant to set on fire. Silas Lancaster. Elderly vampire. They broke the mold when they made children. Roll for Weird. On Twitch. Streaming monthly. New podcast episodes every other Friday.